Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another new comics this week previews episode in today's video I'm gonna be going over all the new releases for April 26 2023's new comic book day in this episode I'm gonna be going over all the new releases from the major publishers and a ton of the indie companies as well Those new releases varying covers which books I'm gonna be getting but in addition to that if there's any sort of other important info about these new releases We're gonna be talking about that too And as I begin to talk about them just remember that there's still delays and shipment issues happening amongst the different publishers So once it gets closer to new comic book day everyone just check with their LCS to see which ones they actually got in and now without further ado let's talk some comics and now everyone real quick if you are new to watching these videos down below in the description i've got a chapter list of all the publishers i'm going to be talking about today so feel free to jump around this video the first one i'm going to be talking about today is aftershock and they've got jimmy's little bastards issue number three on the way after that is a brand new one we got bram stroker monster hunter issue number one followed up with that is last line number three and then the last one from them this week is bulls of beacon hill issue number four moving on to american mythology the first one is silent night deadly night issue number four here's cover a we got a cover B Hassan variant, and then finally a cover C classic photo variant. Next up from them is a brand new one. We got Raw Head Reborn, issue number one. This is cover A. We've got a cover B Racy Raw variant, and now finally a cover C Martina Century variant. The only other one they've got this week is Legend Fell, issue number two. This is cover A, and then we've got a cover B Parsons Homage variant. After that is Mad Cave Studios, and the first one is Tales from Nottingham, issue number three. Now, I haven't read anything from Nottingham. I heard it's really good. If you're enjoying that series, let me know what you think about it down below. I think there's been two volumes and now this might be the third volume but i'm not 100 on that one next up is dolly in the dark issue number five this is cover a and then we've got a cover b she hand variant and now finally from them we got mad cave studios legacy battle cats issue number five coming out this is cover a and then here's cover b the loner gone variant moving on the vault the first one is door to door night by night issue number five if you're still reading this one let's talk about it more down below i was only able to grab that first issue and honestly i really liked it here's cover a and then we've got a cover b hurt variant moving on this is the last one from them this week it is the start of a brand new volume we got money shot comes again issue number one this one's got eight different covers here's cover a we got a cover b sealy variant now this one's obviously not available yet but we got a cover c polybag variant moving on the sumerian the first one is pop scars issue number two this is cover a here's cover b the diaz variant and then finally a cover c Gullian variant moving on the never ender the final duel issue number two here's cover a and then we've got a cover b variant next publisher on my list this week is whatnot publishing they've got one it's the exiled issue number three now i read the first two issues i'm gonna be real with you out of all the whatnot stuff that i have I've read i think this is probably my favorite series i wasn't sold on the second one but i did like where the plot went so i'm probably going to continue on for at least one more issue on this this one's got five different covers here's cover a we got a cover b a skivo variant and then finally a cover c Acevedo variant moving on to awa we've got trojan issue number four and this is the series finale i think this one's all right i mean you guys right now i'm a huge awa fan but this series I don't know. There's something about it that's just not landing with me. Next publisher I'm going to be talking about is Ablaze. And they've got Lovecraft Unknown Cadith issue number eight coming out. And this one's got six different covers. This is cover A. Here's cover B, the Nieto variant. And then finally, a cover C, Moy R variant. Moving on to Zetoscope, they've got Phoenix Files issue number three coming out. This one's got four different covers. This is cover A. Here's cover B, the Vitorino variant, and then finally cover C, Garvey variant. Next publisher is Archie Comics. They've got one, and it does feature two brand new stories. It's World of Archie, Jumbo Comics Digest, issue number 129. Moving on, this is the last small indie publisher I'm going to be talking about today. It's Titan Books, and they've got one brand new one. It's Nouns, Noun Town, issue number one, and this one's only got a cover A. So out of all those publishers, all those books, we got a pretty solid week coming out from them, but the only two that I plan on grabbing, the first one's from AWA Upshot. We've got Trojan, issue number four, and then assuming my shop does get it, I'm going to be grabbing from Whatnot Publishing, The Exiled, issue number three. But next up, let's talk about Image Comics and Boom Studios. So the first one today from Image is Vanish, issue number six. I've heard fantastic things about this series. Now, I only read the first issue, maybe the second issue as well. I really enjoyed it, though. My shop ended up getting shorted on the next one, and I never went back to pick it up. You know how that story goes. But from what I've read, I really liked it, and the artwork was fantastic as well, so take that for what it is. If you're still enjoying it, let's talk about it more down below. This one's got ten different covers. Here's cover A. We got a cover B, Warren Johnson variant, and then finally cover C, Tony Daniel variant. Moving on to the Scorch, number 17. This is cover A. Here's cover B, the Tomaselli variant, and and finally, we got a Brooks signed variant cover. Moving on. Ooh, I love this series. This one is so good. We got What's the Furthest Place from Here, issue number 12 coming out. This one's going to be continuing on Sid's story as well. This one's got four different covers. Seriously, check this one out. I know it's 12 issues deep and there's a lot of stuff going on. I would recommend starting from the beginning with this series. Try and find a trade paperback for it. Here's cover A. 
We got a cover B Dunn variant, and then finally a one in ten Lloyd incentive variant. Next up is the Ambassadors issue number two. This is another fantastic read. I love this one. Here's cover A. We got a cover B cherished black and white variant, and then finally a cover C cherished variant. Next up is Image number twelve. Followed up with that, we got the end of the arc for Philadelphia issue number thirty. Here's cover A. We got a cover B Cooper variant, and then finally cover C black and white noir variant. I always recommend this series. There is a hardcover out, and I think it covers the first fifteen issues. Maybe it's twelve issues. I'm not hundred percent on that one, but definitely check this one out moving on we got love sick number seven i've heard great things about this series too this one's got four different covers here's cover a we got a cover b vachio variant and then finally a cover c vachio variant next up is local man issue number three this is cover a and then we got a cover b booth and reber variant moving on to a series finale we got plush issue number six Try and find this series. It is very good. Try and find it in a trade paperback, though, or if you do find all the single issues. I mean, if you pay cover, it is what it is because I've really enjoyed it so far. But you can read it all in one sitting. It's not really dialogue heavy, but the story is great. This is cover A. We had a Kirby Fleeks variant and then finally cover C, Corona and Stern variant. Next up is a brand new arc for Kaya. This is issue number seven. Here's cover A and then we got a cover B, Johnson variant. Moving on to Indigo Children, issue number two. Another great one from Image. Man, Image is about to kill it this week. Here's cover A. We got a one in 10 Simmons incentive and then finally a one in 15 Simmons incentive variant. After that is Dead Romans, issue number two. I wasn't completely sold on the first issue. I really love the artwork though. I think the only reason I'm going to grab that second issue is because of the artwork. Story, they didn't really get into it. But well, this one's got four different covers. Here's cover A. We got a cover B, Marinkovich variant, and then finally a cover C, Anwar variant. Next up is Torrent, issue number three. I read the first two issues. I really enjoyed them, but if this third issue continues on with the same kind of format as the first two, where it's just straight action, they're not really developing any of the story, I'm probably going to wait for a trade paperback on this series. Here's cover A. We've got a cover B, DeLandro and Renzi variant, and now finally a cover C, Leonardi and Renzi variant. This next one is the last one coming out from them this week, and it is a new series. we got Deep Cut issue number one out of all those books i'm for sure going to be getting what's the furthest place from here issue number 11 ambassadors issue number three philadelphia number 30 plush issue number six indigo children number two dead romans issue number two torrent number three and then finally i'm going to check out deep cuts as well but man image is about to kill it this week i'm so pumped for those books moving on boom studios the first one is grim issue number 10 this one's got seven different covers here's cover a we got a cover b florentino variant and then finally a one in ten florentino incentive variant after that we got a series finale for behold behemoth issue number five i read the first issue i thought it was okay to me it seems like one of those missed series from boom studios but that's just my opinion this one's got four different covers here's cover a we got a cover b luckert variant and now finally a one in 25 incentive variant after that is neighbors issue number two i'm probably not going to continue on with this series here's cover a we got a cover b hans variant and then finally a one in 15 orzu incentive variant now finally from them we got dune house hurricane issue number four this one's got six different covers here's cover a we got a cover b murakami variant and now finally a one in ten swan land in incentive variants out of those issues i'm definitely going to be getting grim issue number 10 we'll see how the rest of the week goes but i might grab neighbors issue number two i mean it was a kind of interesting plot but i don't know we'll see how it goes next up let's talk about dark horse idw and dynamite and so the first one today from dark horse is blue book issue number three now i read the first issue i'm a big fan of james tyne and i love alien stuff i'm a big fan of just the monster books, so this one should be right up my alley but i thought the first issue was incredibly boring the artwork was just okay too now the second issue the second issue i thought was a lot better so i'm definitely going to continue on with this series and go from there Here's cover A. We got a Kirby Danny variant and then finally a 1 in 10 Shang incentive variant. After that, we've got Star Wars The High Republic Adventures Quest of the Jedi issue number one. So we got a new one from that series. Here's cover A and then we got a cover B Osseo variant. Moving on, this is the last one coming out from them this week. We got Dragon Age The Missing issue number four. Out of those three, I'm only going to be getting Blue Book issue number three. So moving on to IDW, the first one is TMNT issue number 139. Here's cover A. We got a Kirby Eastman variant, and then finally a 1 in 10 Del Mundo incentive variant. Next up is TMNT, The Last Ronin, The Lost Years, issue number 3. This one's got 12 different covers. Here's cover A. We got a Kirby Eastman variant, and then finally a cover C, Smith variant. Next up today is Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 60. This is cover A, the main cover. Here's cover B, the Curry variant, and then finally we got a 1 in 10 incentive. This is the 4 drain variant. After that, we got TMNT, The Armageddon Game, issue number 7. So you TMNT fans, we got a big week for you guys. Here's cover A. We got a cover B, Mercado variant, and now finally cover C, Eastman. Eastman variant. Moving on to Star Trek, issue number seven. This one's got six different covers. This is cover A. Here's cover B, the Cho variant, and then finally a cover C, Sherman variant. After that is Dungeons and Dragons, Saturday Morning Adventures, issue number two. Here's cover A. This is the cover B, Hickey variant, and then finally a Tim Levin's Incentive variant. Next up, this is the last one coming out from them this week. We got Dead Seas, issue number five. Here's cover A. We got a cover B, an Indito variant, and then finally a cover C, Phillips variant. Out of those issues, I'm for sure going to be getting TMNT, The Last Ronin Lost Years, number three, and then Dead 
Dead Seas, issue number five. So moving on to Dynamite, they've got two coming out this week, and the first one is Gargoyles, issue number five, and this one's got 19 different covers. Here's cover A, here's cover B, the Connor variant, and then finally, cover C, Perio variant. The only other one they've got is Vampirella Strikes, issue number 12. This one's got 14 different covers. Here's cover A, we got a cover B, Segovia variant, and then finally, a cover C, Yoon variant. I won't be grabbing either of them, but next up, let's talk about DC Comics. All right, so here we go, DC fans. First one today from them is Detective Comics, issue number 1071, and this one's got five different covers. Here's cover A. We got a Kirby Rise variant, and then finally cover C. Jones variant. Next up is the start of a brand new arc. We got Action Comics, issue number 1054. This one's got six different covers. Here's cover A. We got a Kirby Sandoval variant, and then finally cover C. Talaski Super Workout variant. Next up today is Harley Quinn, issue number 29. This one's got six different covers as well. Here's cover A. We got a Kirby Frizen variant, and then finally a 1 in 25 Hetrick Incentive variant. After that, folks, is the Riddler year one issue number four. I have heard great things about this series. I'm very excited for it. I'm going to read it all at once when it's finally wrapped up. This one's got four different covers. Here's cover A. We got a cover B Subic variant and finally a cover C Magnola variant. Moving on to the start of a brand new series, we got Green Arrow issue number one. This one's got seven different covers. This is cover A. Here's cover B, the Cho variant. And then finally, we got a cover C, this is a Nakayama variant. Next up is Tim Drake, Robin issue number eight. This is cover A. And then we got a cover B, Talaski variant. Followed up with that, we've got Unstoppable Doom Patrol. Patrol, issue number two. This one's got four different covers. Here's cover A. We got a cover B Alan Qua variant. And now finally, a cover C Spokes Glow in the Dark variant. Next up today from DC is Lazarus Planet, Revenge of the Gods, number four. Here's cover A. We got a cover B DeMeo variant. And then finally, a 1 in 25 Cho Incentive variant. Next one on my list is a series finale. We got Blue Beetle Graduation Day, issue number six. This one's got four different covers. Here's cover A. This is cover B, the Renando variant. And now finally, a 1 in 25 Corona Incentive variant. Moving on to the Sandman universe. The Dead Boy Detectives issue number five. Here's cover A. We got a cover B Ekman Lawn variant. And now finally, a 1 in 25 Quan Incentive variant. Now, this next one this is the last one coming out from them this week. We got DC Ruby issue number three. Here's cover A. And then we got a cover B Mirka and Dolfo variant. Out of all those issues, DC's having a pretty solid week. I might look at Green Arrow, but I know I've got a big Marvel week ahead of me, so I'm going to keep my superhero stuff limited. But next up, let's finish this video now with Marvel Comics. Here we go, Marvel fans. First one today from them is Daredevil issue number 10. This has been a fantastic read. I definitely recommend checking this one out. Here's cover A, and then we got a cover B Eastman variant. Moving on to Thor issue number 33. This one's got five different covers. Here's cover A. We got an Alex Ross Timeless variant. That one is very dope. And now finally, a Caselli Marvel Icon variant. Followed up with that, series finale. Here we go, Hulk issue number 14. I am so glad this series is done with. We need a new Hulk series. I'm really excited. I think it's Philip Kennedy Johnson, and I can't recall the artist off the top of my head, but I know it's a great artist as well. I think it's Nick Klein. I'm pumped for that one. This one's got five different covers. This one, on the other hand, this is an absolute stinker. Here's cover A. We got an Alex Ross Timeless variant, and now finally, a Scotty Young variant. Moving on to Deadpool, issue number six. I'm pretty positive this is the start of a brand new arc based on how the last issue ended, but it's a great series. I recommend checking it out. This one's got four different covers. Here's cover A. We got an Alex Ross Timeless variant, and now finally, a Heron variant. Moving on to Doctor Strange, issue number two. I might grab this issue. I wasn't a huge fan of the first one. I mainly picked it up for the Alex Ross cover art. It's the same artist that was on Namor Conquered Shores. I really didn't think that art was that great, so it kind of takes away from the story for me, but I might grab this one too. Here's cover A. We got a Malie variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Garbet Incentive variant. Moving on to the Invincible Iron Man, issue number 5. This one's got five different covers. The series started off really strong. I really liked how it was kind of a mystery, but they did the big reveal in the last issue, and we'll see how it goes moving forward. Here's cover A. We got a latent connecting variant and now finally an Ivan Tao variant. Moving on to the end of the arc, so they are definitely going to be continuing on with this series. We got Mary Jane and Black Cat, issue number five. I don't know anybody reading this one right now. I know people who are picking it up for the covers, but they're not really reading it. Here's cover A, and then we got a cover B, D or so variant. Next up is Captain America, Symbol of Truth, issue number 12. This is cover A. We got a Villa Stormbreakers variant, and then finally an Albuquerque variant. Next up is a Sins of Sinister tie-in. We've got Sins of Sinister, Domination, issue number one. This one's got eight different covers. Here's cover A. We got an Alex Ross Timeless variant, and now finally a Nathan Surdy variant A, and be on the lookout for a Virgin variant B. Moving on to a series finale, we got Strange Academy Finals, issue number six. I still wish they would have just kept it as the first volume of Strange Academy. There was absolutely no reason to start it over at number one and give it a new name. It's the same continuation from the last story with the same writer and artist on it. I don't know. It's just Marvel being Marvel, I guess. This one's got six different covers. Here's cover A. We got an Ivan Tal variant A and being a lookout for a Virgin variant B cover. And then finally, a 1 in 25 Scotty Young incentive variant. Next up is Star Wars Darth Vader, black, white, and red, issue number one. These series are usually pretty cool. It's got 19 different covers and they're all awesome. Here's cover A. We got 1 in 
125 Andrews incentive, and now finally a 1 100 Del Auto incentive. After that is Wasp, issue number four. Moving on to Venom, Lethal Protector, volume two, issue number two. Now, this series is really good. I wish the main Venom run was kind of more like this. I really enjoyed the last one, way better than I thought it was going to be. I was a little hesitant to pick this one up, mainly because I'm really not enjoying that current ongoing for Venom, but this one, Love that first issue. Definitely check it out. Here's cover A. We got a Ron variant and now finally a 125 scan incentive variant. Continuing on, we got Betsy Braddock, Captain Britain, issue number three. This is cover A, and then we got an Aka variant. Moving on to Monica Rambo, Photon, issue number five. This is cover A, and then we've got a Dodson variant. Continuing on with Marvel, we've got the start of a brand new series. It's Alien, issue number one. They kind of do the same thing with Alien and Predator. Every time it's a new arc, they just kind of restart at number one. Not a fan of it, but I guess it does make sense because for the most part, it is a brand new story. This one's got five different covers. Here's cover A. We got a 125 Del Auto incentive and now finally a 101 Malieve incentive variant. Moving on to Avengers Beyond, issue number two. Here's cover A. We got a U variant and now finally a 125 Diaz incentive variant. Continuing on, we got Clobber in Time, issue number two. This is cover A and then we got a Romero variant. Followed up with that is Gardens of the Galaxy, Bane of Blastar, issue number one. Here's cover A. We got a Marvel Anatomy variant and now finally a Manhattan variant. Variants. This next one's the last one coming out from Marvel this week. We got Miracle Man Marvel Tales issue number one. Here's cover A. We got an Alex Ross variant and now finally an Alan Davis Virgin variant. Out of all those issues, Marvel's actually having a really solid week in my opinion. We got Daredevil number 10 coming out. I'm going to be grabbing Thor issue number 33. Hulk number 14. Hey, I got to see it to the very end, right? Deadpool number six. Doctor Strange number two. The Invincible Iron Man issue number five. Strange Academy Finals issue number six. Venom Lethal Protector volume two issue number two. And then finally, I'm probably going to check out Alan in issue number one as well but as a wrap on all the new comics coming out this week we're about to have a hell of a week i'm very excited for these books be sure to comment down below which ones you're looking forward to most which ones you think i'm gonna be missing out on and thanks for watching everyone if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you want to miss out on any of my other content please hit that subscribe button down below and i've got two more videos sitting off the side here if you want to check out some more stuff and here's a quick preview of the upcoming live stream i'm going to be featured on from the exp have a great day everybody i'll see you in the next one Hey there, Dynamite fans. Come check us out at The Experience this Wednesday, April 26th at our usual time, 6 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have all your favorites, whether it's commission cover art, CGCs, Dynamite books. We're going to have it all. Um, it'll be Rex and AR and John and uh, I'll come in if I feel like it. And I'm definitely sure Nick will be there. So no matter what, it'll be a great time. Remember, it's April 26th this Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, only on The Experience. See you then.